Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I believe this is episode 6 now. Yes, I just finished recording episode 5 where we got into orbit. And now we're going to get out of orbit. But I thought this would be fun to look at the uh, city lights. Which is part of the EVE Environmental Visual Enhancements mod. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, although I'm curious... Uh, sorry, crew report. Space near Kerbin. Yeah, we've already done this before. Okay. Um, we've got a lot of... Uh, ooh, do I want to? Am I that daring? Am I that bold? Hmm. No, you know what? I don't think I'm that daring and bold. I've got a lot of Delta V in this guy. I could... I'm contemplating doing a moon flyby, which is cool, which will help upgrade uh, uh, Jebediah a little more, and it's not going to just, at this point, I'd deorbit, and I'd have 2,000 some odd, well, a little under 2,000 Delta V left, which is crazy. Um, you want to save all that. You want to use all that. I'm thinking of taking a trip to the moon, and then if things work out, a trip to Minmus, if you can slingshot away... Granted, he has no science on board, aside from a, a crew report. whoop de doo Oh, and I can only do one crew report. Uh, no, not worth it. If I'm going to do a Moon or Minmus flyby, I want some science on there. I didn't think about that. I was too conservative with, um, with what kind of uh, Delta V I would need for this. Uh, honestly, at this point, I have so much Delta V, though, I could burn Escape Kerbin's sphere of influence pop out onto the Kerbol the sun's sphere of influence and then pop back in I usually save that for later though but that once you orbit quote orbit so, so, uh, Kerbol the sun that gets your your dudes your pilots um, leveled up oh it's a pity that I have that much delta V left I'm not going to do anything with it though oh well I don't have it I can't I didn't put a docking port. I can't upgrade this. I can't do anything fun to it. So it's not... It's nothing I can do about it, really. But we can let... Oop, I'm sorry. Wrong button. We can orbit around. Using time warp. Oh, yeah. Another thing. I don't know if you saw that down here. Uh, if you can see it. Um, another mod I use is... Let's see. It should show up again. Yeah, KJR. Okay, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement System. It helps hold things together a little sturdier so things aren't murr, 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 wobbling around once you got bigger ships. Also, the main reason I have it, the main help, is at launch on the ground. Um, in the VAB, your ship is floating. It's suppo supported by imaginary scaffolding. Once you go onto the launch platform, though, physics are applied, and sometimes your ships will pancake or, or joints will pop. Or, or decouplers will separate. It's just it's just weird things. Um, so, uh, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, when your ship loads on the dock, it gradually winds the um, physics load up. So it doesn't all just come crashing all at once. Alright, so I think we're going to let this go here. I think we're just about to hit Sunrise. I can see the glow over here. Let's okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, you can see the atmospheric glow. We are going to want to deorbit uh, soon and ditch the fuel, which is a pity I brought this much, but I, it's not worth it right now. Plus, I really want to upgrade some things so that I get patched conics and a little more information besides just there's that, there's that. If I were to try to fly right now, it wouldn't show an encounter or anything until I got closer and then you would pray there's an encounter it's not worth it so we're gonna wait um, one of our next missions so we'll, we might orbit moon or minmus we'll go to minmus for a landing first minmus is a bit more forgiving and there's Kerbal. there's our sun so we are there our apoapsis is there so we are descending um and at this point where okay so the Kerbal space center is over here on this little continent like i said it looks kind of like africa we're going to deorbit 
now though we do want to yeah we, we want to do it now so we want to point our ship at the retrograde marker that's the uh, the negative vector I'm sure there's a better phrase for it but you want to point retrograde so that way the engine is pointed along our path of travel right now and that's going to slow us down which is going to mean our orbit's going to drop our periapsis will drop um, yeah and that should get a splash down here in the badlands or the land sorry in the badlands so doesn't take much though yeah, there you can see the periapsis and we can also look at the numbers here we're going to drop it to about oh 35 kilometers that should be good because at that point we'll catch enough wind resistance heating or whatnot we're not going to we're not going to skip back out we're not going that fast if this if our orbit was like three or four k three or four kilometers per second yeah we might and skip back out again and then on our second pass come in but we're going slow enough it'll bleed off and now the joys of re-entry so there we can see our periapsis moving and dropping 56 55 54 etc 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 going down as long as it stays yeah well mainly i want it to stay on the day side of it you want uh, it's it's ideal to have things stay on the day side Ooh. Well, we might make it on the land. It might be a, it might be a splashdown, which isn't the end of the world. At least with a splashdown, you know that your actual altitude is the true altitude. You won't need to rely on the other altitude. Oh, jeez, look at how much delta V we have left, though. Isn't that a pity? Oh well. And because we're about to uh, deorbit and 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 separate, quick save, F five. Then you would hold F9 to reload, just in case. Um, but now we're on a downward trajectory. Boom. Nothing to do about it, but wait. So we're going to go ahead and warp until we hit. Oh, we're going to... There we go. And then it'll de-warp us once we hit 70. Boom. There we go. Oh, okay, what is this? Yeah, we can do a crew report. We haven't done one here. Yeah, cool. Keep that. And you want to try to keep your heat your 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 heat shield pointed down. You want to be facing retrograde so your heat shield takes the brunt of it. So as we start falling, like we said before, we've done this once or twice, your speed will increase and then you'll get to a point where you get enough resistance and your speed will start decreasing. So we can see we're 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 just touching the atmosphere. We can already see we are dropping our periapsis because it's slowing us down ish we're all speeding up because of the gravity but it is slowing us down yeah we don't need this um, I'm gonna have surface info up just in case we do end up coming in over land if it drops quick enough we could come out over the badlands here and there are a few mountains so it's helpful to have that all right we're going to go ahead and um, time warp, physics warp, until we get heating effects. Come on. Where's the heat? Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead de-warp just so I can get facing retrograde and keep that heat shield into it. Come on. There we go. There's heating effects. <coughs> so while we're here, oh yeah, we're we're obviously deorbiting, but we're also using radial boop boop. That's a nice thing about these. They show you when you're accept it's acceptable to use them. We should hit this without a problem. Um, if anything, I'll it'll be tedious. Whoa! Camera switch. It'll be tedious to. Um, wait that long to open the chutes uh, to, uh, it'll be tedious actually to open the chutes that early I should say but that's a great speed and that's a decent altitude that should be work out just fine ho oh, hum Maybe we can go back and see oh that's moved quite a ways away. Oh, that's interesting. It's moving further and further away. Oh, it'll keep dropping. We'll keep... Yeah, we'll keep dropping. We will keep, keep dropping, dropping, dropping. Uh, 
and we're not even in the thickest atmosphere. We're still in like the outer reaches of the atmosphere. The thickest stuff is about 35 to 30k. How's our blader doing? Still doing really good. Mm. I know I chose the easy options, but the heating at 50% is kind of weak. I might have to go in and... I, that, that's... I was just looking at the settings. That's something you can actually slide up and change. <coughs> Alright, but we are slowing down now. We've done... We've, we've done finished? We finished uh, speeding up, accelerating as we were dropping into the atmosphere. So we are, these are kind of the badlands and the desert. Um, oh, oh, so we shall see. So now our periapsis is within the planet, so I have, my prediction is it'll be in the water here. I don't think it's going to drop fast enough for it to put us in here. I really don't. But at this point, it's more or less a textbook uh, re-entry. Your turn stability off, a ship at this size should more or less drop its center of gravity into retrograde. It should just hold like this, but sometimes, depending on what you latch on, attach on it, it, it doesn't. But it looks like at this size it's good. If you were to add a, um, what's it called, Science Junior or other doodads, it might throw off the center of balance and it might not do this. But right now we can and that's a good way to save electricity. Not that it really matters that much. I probably overkill on the electricity just like I did on the Delta V. Let's look at the map one more time. Oh, no, we might actually land here in the Badlands. That's cool. Uh, I can live with that. That's fine. As long as the mountains aren't there. But that's, again, why I pulled up the service info so we get our true altitude versus just our, um, our above sea level, average sea level altitude, which is this guy. Excuse me. This was a fairly nice shallow um, re-entry trajectory. That one I did earlier, I went really, really steep, and it was kind of uh, a bit of a nail biter. But this one's dropping, and when we get down below 1,100 to, to one kilometer per second, the heating effects should go away. We'll just have some white, misty wind effects. Yeah. Oh, good. Wow. Decelerated pretty nicely. Oh yeah, a nice solid 2G deceleration. Slowly climbing. Oh, like between 3 and 10, and there. Okay. Just trying to get that kind of locked into my head. Just so that I know. Oh yeah, this sh I should meet the parameters for that just fine. I can't actually do this with your contracts, and it'll say, check, check, and then you'll know. I, I like Capcom, but this is a smaller thing, so I'll, I'll keep that there for the moment. Um, now we are dropping, and we're slowly decelerating. And this one should go green, because we're within that. There we go. So now we just gotta wait for the speed to drop, and that other check mark to go green. We'll be good to deploy our radial-mounted parachutes and conduct the test. And earn some space bucks, science, and reputation for it. There we go. So now we can deploy. I'm going to wait because the earlier you deploy, the longer it'll take you to get to the ground. Although we're getting close to 3,000, so I'd rather just shoot it and let it, yeah, deal with it. So now we're dropping. So the chutes are only partially opened. Uh, once we get to one kilometer true altitude, they will fully deploy. Uh, and that'll slow us down again. But this is slowing us down initially, and it'll keep dropping a little bit as we descend, especially as the air continues to thicken up. Um, but then, like I said, once we get to one kilometer true altitude, it will <laughs> open up, slow us down a lot, we'll hit a few Gs, and then we'll coast down at a leisurely like 4.7 or 5 kilometers. There we go. They're opening up. Yep, we saw the G-Force pop up. Ooh. And now, yep, 4.34 meters per second. We still have 800 and some odd meters. The reason it's nice to land on the day side, both on Kerbin and, well, anywhere, but especially on Minmus and the Moon, you got your shadow. You can predict your shadow. Obviously, we're going to land with the parachutes, so it's not critical. But um, if you are landing, a powered landing on the Moon, or Minmus, Moon, Moon, yeah, 
or Minmus, um, you you want your shadow to see where you are. It helps predict where the land is. Without your shadow, you'd have no idea. So we're going to physics accelerate here. Up and up and up and up and up. Got quite a ways to go. We'll deaccelerate at about 100 meters. Oh, a little tedious, I'm sorry, but better safe than sorry, I suppose. We're actually only about 200 meters off of sea level, higher than sea level here at the ground, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all, but yeah, see the shadow, the shadow there is quite, oh, oh, clouds. The shadow there is quite helpful to know where you are in relationship to the ground. So, there we are, cancel the physics acceleration. Of course, I'm sure, well, we haven't gone over physics versus time warp acceleration, but when you're um, in an atmosphere, you can only physics warp, which is different than time warp. Boop, and we're on the ground. And I can do an EVA report, which is awesome. EVA, flying, quote, flying, because we're hanging on the side, keep that. Board, we'll store that. EVA. And we can land on the ground. Are you... What? Did you just... <laughs> he did. He, like, sat down. Way to go, Jeb Jebediah. Do another EVA report. <laughs> Keep that. And then we can take and store. We should be able to... And board again. And now we can do a crew report from the Badlands as well. Keep that data. So that's it. Um... All we can do for science, like I said, I didn't want to pack much science on, I just wanted to get us orbital and get that taken care of, but we can recover. Alright, so, um, we, uh, uh, well, the game actually crashed when I went to recover, um, the ship from the Badlands to here. Fortunately, you are able to go back into the, uh, oh gosh, orbital center satellite center, what have you. Um, I was able to go here, find it, and recover it there, and uh, you can recover all your data and whatnot. So, still got all the bits. Still got Jebediah, who leveled up to one star, or level one, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so he's one star, so now he can, uh, he can, yes, yeah, do stability assist. He can hold retrograde and prograde. The other guys don't have anything yet. Uh, we'll start using Valentina for some flying now. Oh, yeah. Anywho, we, oh yeah, we completed those, so milestone returned from orbit uh, and we completed the yeah that one the contract cool um, so we have some more science let's see what do we want oh we're on this tier here yeah so I think I wanted some more uh, oh, I wanted some more sciencey things not sure there's not that much to get yet is there flight control ooh flight control is a good one to have too though flight control is nice it gives you oh mech jab is okay but you don't actually need that oh, oh maneuver and translation yeah maneuver is okay um, but the advanced inline stabilizer is good because at this point, um, we're going to, yeah, we can launch a probe and then we could use the inline stabilizer to help give it um, a little more control. RCS is nice, um, but not ne necessarily necessary yet. We're not landing or we're not, um, docking yet. Eh, aerodynamics. It's construction, not yet. And then, what is this? Propulsion? Oh, these are little, little bitty things, which are nice, but not necessary. Um, what is this? The Oh, that's a nice combo one. And that's the magnetometer. Mm, oh, which one do I want? Actually, you have the crew container and the barometer on and the ladder and water, and water tank and oxygen. Not really necessary. I, because you have the, I think because it has a storage container, I think I'm going to take that. Otherwise, this guy's just a little docking port, which is okay, and the smaller separators, but eh. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, Yeah, I'm going to take this one. That only leaves with 40 hours. So we're halfway to one of these guys. Um, anywho, after that crash, fun times. Uh, I think next episode, we're actually going to build a plane fly it around, uh, see where we can go, where we can land, where we can take off from again, uh, hit some of the biomes that are nearby, um, and collect some more science that way. Um, 
Anywho, that should be this it for this episode six. Yes, five was launching, six was landing. Um, that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. If you like, hit like, hit subscribe, all those things, and I'll catch you later.